good kitten internet. It's been a while, hasn't it? Um, so, I'm resuming my Archer Force 2 run. Uh, this is no longer a Nuzlocke, because I definitely failed the Nuzlocke part. Um, there's a few graphical changes, if you haven't noticed. For one, these are now being recorded in, seven, in 1440p instead of 1080p. Uh, because a lot of things have changed since the last time I ran this. Um, second, you'll notice that the screen's a little bit darker. It's because I'm running a filter to try and remove some of the artifacting. So, I'm... Uh, long story short, I'm trying to scale up something that's roughly 240p up to something that's 1440p. And there's a lot of artifacting when it comes to scaling that up. I could record this at 240p, except that I myself have to look at this, and uh, the lowest resolution thing that I can full screen would probably be my TV at 1080p. So I'd rather be sitting here like this, at least at the moment. I may decide to change that. Um, so I messed around with the filters for um, RetroArch, which, again, I've changed emulators because the previous emulator hasn't been updated in 15 years. And doesn't really work very well on Windows 10. So I'm just using RetroArch, which is the same thing I'm using to emulate everything else. I'm using the same uh, save, sort of. So when I died last time, right at the end, I didn't actually save. So Bowie is not dead, according to this. In fact, Bowie, oh, it actually does list as one defeat. So maybe I, maybe this is after. I had to hack up the old emulator, load that up, get it to a point where I can actually save, then come back again. Okay, so this might actually be accurate. I wasn't expecting that. So yes, I have revived everybody, because this is no longer a Nuzlocke. I'm playing for fun. Priest keep me. Ah, uh, yeah. Peter has one defeat because he was AI controlled at the time. Oh, I need to repair the ring. I will do that while I'm here. Archer May has a defeat because uh, she died in the battle at... Um, I can't remember the name of the town now. The town that I got girled at. I have two characters with egress. That's good to know. Oh, and Luke's a thief. Okay. It's been several years since I last touched this. Um, how long was it? I have that open. Uh, let's see. It has been... Since 2015? So five years since I've touched this? A little under five? Uh, actually, I have the YouTube video open. Why don't I just look at that? Uh, no, that was 2018. Okay. So it's been two years since I've touched this. Anyway. So yeah, you'll notice that graphically it's going to look a little bit different now. Uh, hopefully better. I think it looks better, but I'm also looking at this at a much larger screen and higher screen resolution. Which does not help things. Yep. Beautiful, huh? I think that was the only thing that was broken. It's the only thing that I have that can break, I think. Yeah. Alright, do I have any deals? No, I don't want to buy the Warrior Pride right now. Okay, I've got... Okay. So deals are just things that I've sold. I think I mentioned this before, but it's been so long since I've last played, thought I would mention this again. Uh, let me adjust after a little bit. I like it where it's... There. Um, where it's just off-screen. That way, when I'm looking at the game like I am right now, it doesn't look like I'm staring really far down like I was. Anyway, um, I think I explained this before, but I'm selling off unique items because I don't have inventory space for them right now. And I'm not going to have inventory space for a bit. Mm. 
the way unique items in this game work, you can basically sell them off at will. They'll stay in the deals section and just stay there for the entire game. Ooh, I am peeking on the microphone, I just noticed. I did not do a microphone test ahead of time. Excuse me, unfortunately. Let's adjust things a bit. Hopefully this sounds good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One. It's been a while since I've played. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in common from what I had played before other than the save and me. I've never met him before. He's a deity. All right, so we've got Peter and Odler following us. Did we already buy weapons? One moment. And back. Sorry, I had to move laundry. All right. Um... Okay, Bowie's already got that. Oop. Dang it. Uh, spear. I don't have any knights. This is so weird, not having any knights in a Shining Force game. <sighs> I don't think I have any warriors, either. Nope. I definitely have mages and priests, though. Uh, okay, everybody's got this. I probably did this already. Sorry about that. Dagger? Nope, Luke's got a dagger. <coughs> Alright, let's head out and grind for a little bit. So the reason why I want to grind is that Peter's only level 10. Ugh. All right. Oh, well, it's gonna take some getting used to because I'm using the analog stick and they're not as precise. So there's two different locations I can grind at. Oh, right. No, there's only one location I can grind at right now because I haven't uh, done anything about this, so. This is, I think I mentioned this before, and I'm going to go save state now. Um, yeah. Actually, let's save state and save zero. See, it never likes actually changing the save state location. It's unfortunate. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and start from here. Just going to put me back into the battle that I died at before. Only this time, I have a lot more characters. Wait. Were they there before? Probably. This is not a very good battle to do this in, by the way. The reason being is that you're really cramped and there's a mage with Blaze 2 sitting there. I have two thieves. <sighs> I'm just needing to get used to this party again. Yep, that totally looks like a Kiwi, I swear. It's all coming back to me, all of the really screwed up sprites. <laughs> Maybe at some point I should actually fix the sprites. I mean, it should be possible. The problem is that it would spoil me by trying to fix it. That's why I didn't do it before, so. Anyway, I know it's been a while since I've recorded one of these, or anything for that matter. How are you doing? Oh, this is a terrible plan. Oh, 
want them out a little bit, hopefully. Can't move because I'm in stupid forest. Can't even get into a formation right now. That's fine. You can hit Sarah with a staff. Okay, got hit by six. Wow, the colors are so much different with these filters. Uh, you're using blast. Well, that's only six damage. I could survive that. Uh, always gank the healer. Eleven, okay. You're earning 18 experience, so you're still getting decent XP. Can't reach the other one, so gank the mage. Twelve... 21 XP. Yeah, Slade's still doing well on that front. Can't reach anybody. Gank healer. Always gank healer. Ooh, you're only doing nine? Ah, I don't remember anybody's stats. I really do need to level up Luke as well. Step? Not so good, friends. I'm gonna get Blaze to hell and back, aren't I? And not even in the fun 420 let's do it style. Uh. Peter's gonna get killed. I don't even think he'll do more than like one or two damage. Let's find out. Okay. You have unusually high attack for a tortoise. Cool. Oh, I forgot that you have boost. No wonder you're level 19. Also, I probably shouldn't be killing him with... I'm still getting XP. That's right, they give XP up to level 20. That's... I remember this now. That's right, you have Egress. Which, what? Stabity? Stabity. Zombies can be very dangerous because they can poison. I mean, everything's dangerous. But now that I'm no longer having to make sure everybody stays alive constantly, things get a little easier. Um, yeah. Kill Peter. I could just shoot the smoke. This is probably a terrible plan, so let's save state. I know people don't really like watching these videos all that much. I keep forgetting who's powerful and who's terrible. Uh, yeah, just hide. You're lower level than everybody else. This was a terrible plan, wasn't it? Ow. And poisoned. Great, because I don't have antidote. And you're going to shoot Kazin. Kazin doesn't have defense. And Dark Smoke's going to kill him. Or Evil Cloud, sorry. Yep. I'm at two. I'm alive. For now. So yeah, as I was saying, I know that people don't really like watching strategy RPGs all that much, and I can understand that. They're a little on the boring side to watch, after all. 
Can't believe he's doing that much damage that underleveled. Safe state, that way I can evac if needed. Yeah, we're evacing. Weird having two characters with egress. Nope. Also, Gerhalt looks very different. Oh, wait, somebody's poisoned. Gotta remember to cure that. Gosh, Chester is poisoned. That's the wrong can. That's the right can. All right, let's actually look at our force once we're out of Beto. Yeah, I remember the name of Beto. I just don't remember the name of the town with the stupid mayor that foists Oddler on us. This game actually looks prettier for me. I don't know if it looks prettier for you all. Um, let me try something. Yeah, I don't know if it looks prettier for you all or not, because I don't know how YouTube compression is going to make this work. You tried to avoid the fighting by giving up a little innocent kid. Or teenager? But now I'm too darn old. Drat. Also, I'm going to check in here. That way when I ingress, I don't go all the way back to Beto. I've been recording for 18 minutes. I've basically done nothing. So yeah, I guess I should... Oop. Did not mean to hit that. Oh, not a big deal. I'm not actually exiting game. Oh yeah, um, so you'll notice that the Sega logo is shoved way over to the side. It's because the Sega Genesis actually changes screen resolutions when that happens. And my settings are very, um, specific, shall we say? Okay, let's take a look at our party. And specifically their attack and so on. So, I wish I could sort. Unfortunately, they're sorted by join order, sort of. The... They're manually sorted, we'll put it that way. Um, so yeah, Bowie has three more attack than Sarah. Sarah's using a knife. I didn't upgrade Sarah's dagger. Alright, Sarah to a dagger. Whoops. Let's fix that. I looked at Luke, I didn't look at Sarah, yeah. Oh, wait, Sarah has a better weapon? Maybe I picked that up? Yeah, I must have picked that up, okay. So it might not be a terrible idea for me to swap that now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, I'm going to spreadsheet this really fast. Let me pop up an Excel. <laughs> Apparently I popped it open twice for no reason. Okay. Let's do this. So we've got Bowie, Sarah, Chester, Daha, Kazin. Slade, Kiwi, Peter, May, Gerhalt, and Luke. Yeah, we have, we have 11 members of the force. Uh, maximum force size is 12 for reference, so the next character we get is the last one. Um, since I'm no longer playing as the Nuzlocke, I am no longer restricting myself to just the first 12 characters, so I am going to explore to see what other characters are like and so on. 
you may see a bunch of me skipping time and finding, hey, look, this character all of a sudden is higher level. I'm probably going to try to grind up the lower level characters to meet the upper level characters. This one I'm keeping recording just because this is the first one back and I wanted to make it less jarring. Okay, so we've got HP, MP, AT, DF, AG, MV. We should also throw in class and level. Okay. You don't need to watch me type. Be right back. All right, and there we go. Um, so this is just the stats for each of the characters. Um, so there's a few things to note. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and add some filters onto this. Let's filter this to Archer and Ranger. So this is our Archer Force. Uh, they're all roughly the same level. Um, oh, the lovely just went live. Uh, so they're all roughly the same level. Slade's one level higher, so I would expect Slade to have slightly better stats. And we can already start telling. So when I had made this Nuzlocke, I explained this in the Nuzlocke detailed explanation video that hopefully I've made by now and have already uploaded. I haven't made it as time of this recording. Um, that um, each character is set to a base set of stats plus one stat that's better than normal with a very tiny chance of all stats being better than normal. So I can already tell that Slade's best stat is defense. It is substantially higher than everybody else's. And even though he is one level higher, I mean, look at the difference between, well, let's ignore the Ranger for a moment. Let's look at the difference between Slade and say Kazin or May. These are within the realm of normal. Like May is very slightly better in every stat that than Kazin, now that I'm looking at it. But plus one off is fairly typical. I mean, the game does randomly decide on stats. It's just that by the time you reach level 20, everybody will have the exact same stats. So, like, if I took Jaha starting at level 1, brought him up to level 20, Jaha at level 1 will always have the same set of stats. Jaha at level 20 will always have the same set of stats. It's how you get there in between that can change. So... This, to me, looks like May and Kazin may actually have the same set of stats. And it's just that May happens to be luckier? It could also be that May is the god-tier character of the archers. Don't know. Anyway, it's very obvious, though, that Slade is a defensive archer, which is not the greatest, but we'll see. Uh, Chester, on the other hand, looks to potentially be attack-based. So you'll notice that... Chester has two more attack than Kazin and one more attack than May. He might be attack. It's really hard to tell. Anyway, Rangers are very similar to Archers, except that their base is that of a Centaur instead of an Elf. And what the actual difference is gameplay-wise is that you have increased movement speed. I just realized that you all aren't seeing this anymore because for some weird reason it decided to move this off the side of the screen. Why did you do that? Uh, transform reset. Okay. Doink. Uh, doink. And a doink. And a doink. And embiggen. I said embiggen. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we've got them. Let's go ahead and clear the filter. So I can resize this a bit. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that Slade, being an archer, is he's the defensive archer. Which, defense archer is not the greatest. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest. Um, we also have two mages now. And comparing these two, it's painfully, painfully obvious how much better Jaha is. But he's also three levels higher. 
But look at the difference between these three levels. Agility-wise, there's very little difference. In fact, Gerhalt has better agility than Jaha, even though Gerhalt's three levels lower. I am almost, and also better hit points, now that I think about it. I have a hunch that Gerhalt is the agility mage. Um, that is, agility is his highest stat. Uh, that's what Kazin in Base Shining Force 2 was. He's an agility-based mage. Um, Jaha looks like he might actually be MP, which is much better for a mage in my mind, especially one that has boost. He's We're going to hit level 20 on Jaha the next time he casts a spell, and that will be great. The reason why that will be great is because we can start seeing what the options are for promotion. No, we can't, because... I don't have the promotion, I, I don't have the secret book yet. Where do I get secret book, Matt? So, each character has one or two promotions. There's one obvious promotion, and then there's frequently a hidden item for certain classes. Um, where is the secret book at? Uh, Elventown, okay, so I've got a bit before we can see that. Never mind. Okay, um, we have multiple thieves now as well. Admittedly, there's a two-level gap between them. It's really obvious, though, what Luke's best stat is. It's hit points. That's so different from Luke in Shining Force 2. In base Shining Force 2. Holy crap, that's different. But it's really obvious Luke is hit points. It also means Sarah is not god tier. Sarah is probably attack, would be my guess. Could be agility. Anyway, I should probably actually start playing instead of just talking about these things. What I'm really confused about, though, is Peter. This is a really high attack for a tortoise. I don't know what's up with that. And this defense isn't that high, I guess. So I'm wondering if Peter's actually an attack-based tortoise, which would be interesting. So you'll notice that I'm still trying to minimize death when I'm doing these. I should have walked. I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? I used to be able to, do, on an actual Sega Genesis controller, I used to be able to navigate these waters without any slip-ups or anything. Can't do that anymore over here. So yeah, I have two battles that I can grind on. This one, and then there's one on... No, I can't grind there yet because I would have to hit the boss battle first, and that's not happening right now. archers. Yep. All stats up by one. Okay. So there's a reason why I'm trying to keep track of this in a spreadsheet now. I'm totally blocking half the screen, aren't I? Um, sorry, this is awkward to deal with everything at once. Let me move that up a bit. And so, you are now 20-something. The reason why I want to make sure I have things written down for level 20 is because that's the level that, again, as I mentioned before, everybody has a somewhat random method of leveling up, but they will all level up to level 20. In at level 20, they'll be the... I... that was a dumb mistake for me. Um, at level 20, they will all have the same set of stats, regardless of how they're leveling. So it's the easiest way to compare. Well, I definitely lured them all out. And then zombie's gonna kill me? Always be healing. It's the ABCs of Shining Force 2. Or or Archer Force 2. Okay. 
hate this scenario so much. I wish I can grind on a different area. But that requires me beating a boss battle, and I am not at all prepared for fighting a boss. Remove that, that way you all can see better. Just, uh, this is so much worse than base Shining Force 2 at the start of this, because I have even less mobility than normal. Okay, I'm not in range of the zombie, that's good. I bet I'm approaching range of the evil cloud. What's the evil cloud? Movement five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. I'm surprised it didn't move slightly more. I guess I can soften up a little. Freeze two! Got one? Oh, four. I guess they give XP up to a little bit higher level. Cool. Zombie. I'm not gonna heal the. I'm not gonna hit the monk because the monk can heal himself. And yes, now Slade is definitely in. Oh, Slade level up. Plus one to all stats. Cool. I'm not like trying to. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna kill the monk. Uh, I'm not going to note down everybody's stats every time I level up. There we go. Just because I would take too long, but I am absolutely going to note down level 20s. Save stating. That's this is the type of thing that I'm concerned about. It's that they might try to take out Sarah. That would be annoying. And I don't want to lose any character. Okay. Is there anybody injured in this area? No, because all of my injuries are Sarah, aren't they? Yep, Sarah's the only one injured and is way over there because because nobody can move. <sighs> Grumble. I have an email. Should check that. Okay. Sorry, I'm monitoring an eBay auction at the same time, so. I need to make sure that I can... Oh, no, it's just about over my price range now. Yeah, I have highest bidder barely, so no, it's not going to be mine. I'm trying to buy a uh, PlayStation TV because there are some Vita games that I would like to play. Yep, and I'm pretty sure that will kill Sarah. Uh-huh. This is why I did that. So I will stab the Master Mage instead. Which this will kill the Master Mage instead. And Sarah will take less damage. Slightly out of range to heal Sarah, though.
There's the email saying, my bid's winning now, but watch out for competition. Okay, this might actually still kill Sarah. Yep. I'll just let it happen. I'm no longer doing a Nuzlocke, so I'm less concerned. I'm just grinding, after all. Ow. Grinding's actually easier if I let people die. Gerhal, you can actually do something. Um, Blaze 2 is definitely going to be better than the other one. Blaze 2 can kill that zombie, I think. Yep. Only 28 XP? Really? I upgraded to Blast 2! Yay! Ugh. <sighs> Soften up another one. One XP, yep. I am too high level now. Actually, I think I'm gonna go entertain the Death Archer because these guys are annoying. And there's a whole bunch of creatures all nearby that can take on the Evil Cloud. Whereas there's only a couple that can take on that Death Archer. Her dead. Nice shot, Chester. Neil Kazin. Just move on out. More Archer Force. Go after death. Yay, level up. Going after May. That's fine. Especially with May's dodgy chan abilities. Dodge. Dodge, dodge. Hmm. So, let's see. What's been going on in the past while? Um, not a whole bunch. Hmm. Exact damage. Nice. 37 XP? So it means it's already starting to drop off. Ugh. <sighs> I don't want to deal with the boss battle with this party right now. I need to at least get them up to 17s. How am I doing on that? Yeah, I know Sarah's dead. Uh, Sarah need Sarah, Chester, Kazin. May needs up by two. Peter needs up by lots. And Luke needs up by three. Uh, I need to grind more. Unfortunately, Sarah's also one of the ones that needs to grind. Uh, Jaha is going to be a ludicrously high level at the end of this game. <sighs> and yeah, Jaha is going to be promoted to be a wizard. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's not... yeah. This is not an option. <laughs> Alright, who's injured? Wrong button. Not really anybody. So yeah, still grinding. Um, what was I saying? Already forgot. Oh, what's been going on? Um, so part of the reason why I've been completely silent on videos has been because I have gout. 
Um, it happened shortly after, so I had one um, Let's Exercise video that I had recorded. I had been editing it, but I didn't actually do much with it past that. Um, hmm, this is a dangerous area. Uh, I, like I said, I was going to edit it, didn't finish. Um, and then that night, I, or the next morning, my toe started hurting quite a bit. But this has happened before, I just assumed that I slept weird and like, whatever. The next day, though, the pain levels increased by a substantial margin, um, up to kidney stone levels at the worst point. And I decided, yeah, there's probably something wrong. Are you dead? No. Cool. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, this is gonna work real well. Donk. Three. Yeah, he gives you some XP. Um, so yeah, I've been dealing with that for about a week now, or two weeks. And yeah, I've only been pain-free for, and pain-free and off of medication for a few days now. It's the medication part that's the problem. Uh, you're boosted, you're boosted, you're not. Eh, might as well. Um, and I didn't want to record while I was, one, still doped up on medication because, oh boy, was I on a really high dose of medication. I have a natural immunity to most painkillers, and that gets really painful fast. Forgot, you're a bird brain. You should... I love that dodge so much. Um, yes, good. You're going to heal two, actually, because you're really far down. And if I remember right, heal two does heal slightly more than heal one. Yeah, like three hit points more. Whatever. You'll survive longer. Um, yeah, I was basically not wanting to do anything and just laying down and trying to sleep constantly. I'm still not great on energy. I haven't been for a long time, but I'm better than that. It's a really low bar. This is probably a bad idea. Yep. Chomp. Down to one, and I'm in range of the stupid golem. Who's about to go? Oh, no. I'm just in range of the archer who's about to go instead. This is fine. Like I said, I'm not paying... I'm not caring about the death anywhere near as much as I did before. It just cost me money. I have money. I have lots of money, in fact. Ow! I always forget just how crappy on defense bird brains are. Snipe the golem or snipe the s zombie. I think zombie makes more sense. Okay, level up. Ooh, more hit points, nice. Eventually, I'll get into battle. <sighs> Hate desert maps so much in Shining Games. That's why I don't like grinding on this map, but it's the only place I can grind. Golems are unfortunately resistant to magic, if I remember right, specifically fire, so I think they take half damage. No, maybe it's the higher level ones that do. Or maybe it's just mine that does. Because there is a golem class later on in the game. Okay. I can at least boost. Um. So yeah, I haven't really been up for 
making videos or functioning. We'll go with functioning. Okay, this is a good point to save state because I don't want Bowie to be knocked out. That halves the amount of money I have, so that's a lot more dangerous to have happen. As long as I have somebody else, oh, this will work. Actually, Kiwi could kill. Eh, I'd rather heal. Kiwi's on the higher level anyway. So yeah, I'm trying to get everybody up to about 17-ish, at least. No new spell, dry. But more ma MP, that's always nice. Take care of that archer, please. Thank you. I also didn't want to start, um, so I had been playing with my partner while they were here. Um, they have left at this point, by the way. Um, so I had been playing XCOM 2 instead, and that was getting my strategy RPG, you know, want taken care of. And, but I didn't want to start Wild Arms 2 yet. Um, there's a few reasons for that. It is so bad on this level. Um, I didn't want to start it yet. So I wanted to play something in between. And I've wanted to go back to Archer Force 2 for a while now. But not really had much of a chance to do so. Make sure that I don't have everybody boosted. No. Yes. 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 No. No. Yes. So if I'm going to boost, that gets three people, which is 15 XP, I want to say. So if you can't tell, I use boost and healing quite a bit for um, gaining XP. Because it's basically free XP. Yeah, 15. There's no reason not to do it, in my mind. Who's injured? I know Bowie's still a little injured, but it's only a little. Yep. <laughs> Especially when I'm doing grindy things like this. So I have two heal twos left or three heal ones. I'll probably egress before that happens anyway, even though I hate this battle so much that I might just want to defeat it. Yep, you're going to cast Blast, that's fine. Blast 1 is not that powerful. You can move up a bit. Just hit him back from there. It'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, my arrow's doing more damage. Come on. That's a trap. That's bait. Right there. That's bait. I'm still going to take the bait because I need the XP. But, you know, that's bait. It's hoping for a second attack. Because uh, he's in range of... Oh, no, not in range of the golem, at least. But in range of the zombie. Zombie's going to pick on the injured one. Interesting. Okay. Poison. Great. Not what I wanted to see. So again, I don't really have ways of curing poison. Hey, look, I can do something. Yay! I dealt five and got nine XP. <sighs> Blaze! Boom! Good job, girl. The mage girl. Weird. Get my other melee character in. Almost done an hour.
It'll probably only affect one person, but that one person really needs a defense boost right now. Many archers. <laughs> Go Archer Force. Woo! Alright. I can't reach the people who need healing. Yep. I can't do anything about the poison right now. I can kill that baddie. Actually, you standing where you were is probably about the best. Thunk. Luke needs XP badly. Ooh, more attack. I like it. I like it a lot. Going after the level 20 mage. Oh, good job of poisoning more people, I guess. And going after the bird brain. 21 damage! <sighs> okay. I'm gonna save state because this means I can no longer egress with Gerhalt. But since I have two people with egress, it's not as big of a deal. But Gerhalt taking out the golem would be nice. I don't want to take more damage. Or wait, was that a bad idea? No, it's fine. I mean, Bowie can still egress. It's time to pick on the zombie for a while. 4 XP. Uh. Let's reduce the zombie's hit points a little bit. Really? Going twice in a row without getting healed. Great. At least I can take out the zombie. And taking two damage from the poison. Uh, I don't suppose you happen to have, you know, uh, no. Pfft. That would have been nice. Oh, I should be checking everybody's inventories for... Inventory. Uh, who has antidote, if anybody? Kiwi has antidote, of course. Of course I put the antidote on the healer. Okay. So at least heal May up a little bit. Getting a wee bit concerned. Yeah, I think I'm going to finish this battle. Only three enemies left. We've got one attack left on Gerhalt, and that's it. Uh, Bowie is going to just need to deal with being... Oh, it's Jaha that's poisoned. And if Jaha dies, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to cost more money to resurrect Jaha, but... Jaha has so much XP that I'm far less concerned about him being dead for a grinding session. Oh, 
I'll go ahead and use a regular herb, though. That will probably be enough to keep Jaha up for the rest of the battle. Assuming he doesn't get hit in the face with a golem. <sighs> Once more, I am bad at arranging my party. Desert is so terrible to deal with. Bowie heal himself. Might as well. Kiwi's now in range of two, if I remember right. Are you boosted? Yes. 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 No. 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 Leveled up again. Really needed that. Uh, that's dumb. I'm not going to do that. Letting them come to me. Although, boost is expiring, unfortunately. Heal up May some more. I've got one more heal left. And that's fine. I'm wanting them to come a little bit closer to me, that's all. Yep, go ahead and punch Peter. Ow! I would have thought Peter would have taken that hit a little bit more gracefully, but okay. Going for the inner one. Reason being is that then Peter can't get hit by more than one once I move somebody in the way. I dealt two. Night one of them on fire. Not a great plan. Last heal goes to Peter, that's fine. Boop, boop. That way, Peter can take another hit as needed. Because it's going to be needed. Boop. One! Oh, level up. That part's good. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take out that golem. Sad. Yep. I'm pretty sure Peter's gonna get knocked out. Yep. Wasn't expecting the crit, but I was expecting it to happen. It's okay, he leveled up a little bit, and he would have been knocked out from this anyway. Ow. Ow! 
Dang you. You're probably going to have better luck hitting the evil cloud. Yeah. Herc. All right. Everybody else on the stupid golem. Now you can soften up a golem. Stick one. More stick. Two, two, yes. Arrowed for death? No, at one. Ah, uh, if only Kiwi would have lived. Would have been perfect Kiwi bait. Oh well, Chester needs to level up anyway. I believe that makes it almost everybody 17. No, he didn't level up. Okay, I am going to the destination that I have so I can trigger this plot and grind somewhere else. Who is it? Pedro? Well, who are you? So this is supposed to be like a, like my age man for reference, even though the pitch is very high for the voice rather than a kid. Pedro, is he back? Pedro, the sky orb is our treasure. Give it back. Say something, Pedro. Oh, you're not Pedro. I guess Pedro would be P-E-D-R-O, so Petra. Who are you? I have control now. He spent all his spare time studying the sky orb. <coughs> it is quite old. He deduced that our ancestors could fly. Last known cation of the Nazca ship was Grands. Ancient stone? Yes, my family had it for a long time. But it was stolen. His brother, my grandson, took the stone, the Sky Orb, when he left. I think he went to Grands Island to operate an ancient vehicle. I've lost my purpose to live. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> We're actually not here for the stone, by the way. We're here for this. It's a steel sword. That's not actually why we're here. Although... Only one person can use the steel sword. Came here looking for an ancient treasure and found the Sky Orb. Oh, yeah, I also discovered how to use ancient tunnels, but uh, most of them are useless, except for the ones, the Grands. You know, that, that still works. Wait, what? Right. That's what I'm looking for. We can get to Grands Island through it? Uh, yeah. You want to go there? I don't know why anybody would want to go there, but you can. Uh, yes? You'll go to Grandsmith's me. Let's go now. But we decides to go with him. All I want is a sky orb. Just help me get that, and then you can leave. <clears throat> so now we have an even bigger party. That's why we are here. I am going to save. And let's go ahead and egress. <coughs> Notice that the audio was still off. See? Anyway, we have a lot of healing to do. And then I'm going to save and exit. Yep. Spend all my money. Yep, I also need to cure people.
Okay. And I'm just going to buy some more healing items, and that'll be it. I mean, guarantee all items to be in good condition. We should have more than, you know, the zero antidotes we currently have. Chester, you're getting an antidote. Sarah, you're getting an antidote. Slade, you're getting an antidote. It's probably good enough. Uh, it's not time for healing drops yet. Let's keep going with healing seeds. So the difference between healing drop and healing seed. So healing, healing herb heals 10 and costs 10 money. Healing Seed heals 20 and costs 200 money. Healing Drop heals 30 and costs 300 money. Ah, uh, actually, we do have people above 30 hit points now, now that I think about it. So we probably should switch to Healing Drops. Healing Drops are the last item in the game that you can buy healing-wise, by the way. Because, you know, why would you want to heal? Just filling up remaining inventory spots. I'm gonna move one of those over. probably sell those, I guess, for now. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're done. I'm going to save and exit. This has been Archer Force 2. I'm Aetherspoon. Uh, no, don't resurrect people. Yes, I have more desires. I am going to save, exit, eat, then record another one of these, because I'm in the mood to play this. Bye, Internet.